It's a former Metro police officer arrested for taking part in an adult video while on duty. Metro police say 33 year old Sean Herman took part in a mock traffic stop in an OnlyFans skit where they say he groped the exposed breast of the female driver. Now every man goes through a different level of desperation for a shakalaka boom boom. Majority of people, myself included, started going to the gym, not to gain muscle, get healthy, feel good about ourselves, but to score. Another majority of people, this is like next level, is when people get dogs, they take their dogs to the park for one purpose and one purpose only to score they wait around in the park waiting for a chick to come towards them and be like oh my god what a cutie what's its name and then they create a story out of their ass and they go like she was getting riley reed by seven black dogs with a broken leg and a broken jaw when i rescued her she had no one absolutely no one then like the superhero that i am i came and i sh sh the dogs and they all went away and i am a good person will you have sex with me then there is the two two horny people where they will go and get a job for the purpose of well to get laid but this this is like next level just like this man over here who joined the police force not to save people but to fuck people nashville police officer fired and arrested after allegedly appearing in a only fans traffic stop skit sean herman was fired from the metro nashville police department on may 9 one day after the detectives with the specialized investigation division discovered the video and identified him as the man in it this story gets deep this isn't his first time to suspecting the badge he actually suspected it last year but before we get to that mr detectives of specialization investigations division how, how did you find his video? Is there only fans division police department where they only focus, they, they go on each person's only fans and they check if there's any police officers involved in this? You gotta be really strong not getting lost in the sauce and doing your job to be honest. But it's, they didn't find it through only fans. They actually found the clip when it went viral on Reddit. Before we get into more details, let me show you the video. Told you you were going too fast. Nobody listens to me. I'm not gonna get it. How do you think that you're going to get a ticket? I'm going to show my No, you're not. Watch me. Just watch. Good evening, ma'am. I'm Officer Jones, MPD. You know where I pulled you over? Ah, uh, no. All right, well, I got you going 65 and a 45 back there, okay? Do you have your license or registration on you? I actually don't have it in this car, but what if I show you these? Oh, 24. I can see tips on the internet anytime. Well, what if you... Now, when the video got to the juicy part, they actually cut it off. She basically went, license and registration, please. I don't have it. But what about, shut up. If they flash it to the cop last month who was caught in the backseat with one of the people he arrested, he would have definitely fell for it. But this wasn't real life. This is all scripted. So the guy actually went forward and grabbed it and just played with those uh, two big hearts now if mr investigation of division of only fans if they're watching this i would actually like to send, see the video like for research purposes obviously if you can send it through me through email it'll be much appreciated it'll be very beneficial to me and the viewers watching for research purposes so it'll be much appreciated if you can send it through to me through email thank you now according to this the video was filmed on april 26 in a warehouse parking lot in the madison area while herman was on duty as a patrol officer imagine someone in the same area was shouting for help after she was getting kidnapped and the officer was too busy filming an only fans video now, like i said the video was Posted in 26th of April and by 8th of May, the Special Investigation Division of OnlyFans found out about it. And within a day, they verified that it's him and they fired him. And he's being charged with two felony charges of misconduct. Now, I don't know why they're saying he's allegedly appearing in the OnlyFans video once the investigation team confirmed it so it's not really alleged now in the line of police work a lot of officers go through some hard times especially this officer yeah hey what stop chewing my cable like i was saying they go through a lot of hard time and this one he obviously had a very long day so he wanted to feel some big stress balls release some stress he had no bad intention he did he didn't even know he was uh, being filmed right nope 
It was all his plan. He was the one who brought these two people and put them in the video and the passenger being the narrator and the woman being uh, an OnlyFans. So it was an OnlyFans collab together. But turns out Herman was already on his last strike. News Channel 5 Investigates got a copy of Herman's personnel record, which shows, among other things, a series of bad decisions behind the wheel, but also this. Disciplinary action for harassment and discrimination. Records show that last year, Herman signed a last chance agreement to keep his job after police say he created, quote, an offensive work environment for a co-worker through sexual comments and actions, end quote. Herman was accused of harassing a female officer by sending her explicit text messages hoping she would sleep with him. This is what he quote-unquote told his partner in duty. You're a cool chick, just a hot one, haha. <laughs> so I couldn't help wanting to see you naked. Now sometimes God gives looks, height, money to the wrong people. That's why sometimes we see people ugly as shit being so funny and just uh, pretty people being dumb. And just when you thought things weren't going to get any worse, well, you are wrong because he also got worse. When he went back to the squad car with his partner, which was a female, he told his fucking partner, a female officer, to leave your phone in the car and, you know, go go get me something like, go get us juice or something so I can go and find your naked pictures. I don't know where bro got his game. Did he learn his uh, words, his moves, his riz from fish and fit? That's the only way it would make sense. And this wasn't the first time that he was hitting on his own partner on duty. He actually hit on her multiple times. And when he was confronted, he said that he thought that she's into him. I 100% can guarantee you she gave him zero signals. But in his head, he thinks everyone wants to sleep with him because he's a, a sexy tall police officer. And after the investigators that brought him in, they asked him some questions. He admitted that he actually has his own OnlyFans. He run ran it for like six months he only posted one naked picture i guess the police uniform wasn't doing it for him so he wanted to back some moms i doubt he even closed it up he says oh, after six months i closed it up but i doubt it because he collabed with another only fans girl and they decided to do a whole skit together to grow each other's followers and to have like a spicy scene I bet he still has his OnlyFans under some like different name. Now, last year after hitting on your partner, <coughs> it's not allowed, it's illegal. So the department suspended him for 10 days. And after 10 days, he was back, but he was on a two-year warning. Not even a year later, this is again what happens where he was shown in the skit. Now, Herman has been with the department for three years and the judge has set his bond $3,000. The online jail records show that he was released on Friday. So he's actually released. There's still no court date coming up. But uh, the story is still developing, so I'll update you if anything happens. Now, unfortunately, not a lot of people are professional at their jobs. And most men, as usual, they think with their head and not their head. And God knows how many people he actually let get away with their crimes because they flashed them or they gave him a sloppy toppy 9,000. We, we don't know. He probably would have accepted anything from anyone. Freeze! Stop it right there. I just saw you run over that homeless person. Hands in the air! Well, how about I suck the shit out of your cucumba? Okay, fuck that homeless person. Now, the police department keeps on embarrassing themselves. Just like last month, that police officer was caught behind his cruise car with another having sex with the, the woman he arrested. Now, it is very embarrassing for him since the whole vi story went viral. And it's very entertaining and satisfying for us to watch. But I am here to ruin your satisfaction and your entertainment with this one video. LA City Council members Hugo Soto Martinez and Nithya Raman were on hand today to help remove the signs. They say the no cruising and no U-turn signs were put up in the 1990s to prevent people in the gay community from meeting up with other gay people. Oh, okay, it's just a no U-turn sign. But when you learn the history of it and you realize that these were used to profile gay people, it's so important that we have these removed. I don't know, I just thought this whole clip is going to ruin your whole mood, is going to make you angry, and I really wanted to show you this video before ending it. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.